Our next speaker is Mr. Eric Schubert from ES Genealogy. Mr. Schubert sent me an email years ago asking if he could work on our case. For the Pennsylvania State Police, that's a little outside the box. This decision paid off. Mr. Schubert provided a service that we would have never expected, and he reached out to us. We are proud to have him here, and I'm proud to introduce him to come up and speak next, Mr. Eric Schubert. Thank you, Trooper Petrosky, for the very, very kind words. Um, as was said, my name is Eric Schubert of ES Genealogy. Uh, I was the independent consultant brought on through the district attorney's office uh, to conduct a genealogy investigation into this case. Um, just a little bit about my background. Uh, my work with genealogy stretches back uh, over 10 years and has been featured nationally. Uh, I've assisted in several other cold cases throughout the country over the past two years. Uh, and as was mentioned, I've been involved in this uh, investigation uh, for about two years. So it's certainly something that I've been working on a very long time and it means a lot to me, uh, as I know it does to so many people here. Um, it really was a multifaceted investigation that left absolutely no stone unturned. Um, at the beginning, as was mentioned, the highest DNA match to Maurice's assailant uh, in public <coughs> DNA databases was uh, about 53 centimorgans. Uh, and a centimorgan is, uh, think of it like a, a unit of measurement for a genetic linkage. Um, you share a set amount of centimorgans with everyone in your family. Um, and 53 is very, very low, as was mentioned. Uh, but that was where we started. Uh, from there, I conducted traditional family tree research using census records, uh, military records, newspaper records, and more. Um, so we were really zeroing in on families, uh, locations, links, uh, and it took a year, but we were able to go from 53 centimorgans to almost 200, which now is really something that I can work with. Um, it was the strongest and most important lead that we had to date. Um, I'll never forget when Corporal Barron was telling me that we had just gotten that match. Uh, because in that moment, I knew that we were going to find the assailant. Um, we quickly worked our way up from that match uh, to a match that in the end was over a thousand Santa Morgans. Uh, it was about 1,200. Um, that's something that you would share with a person who is a half uncle, a cousin, that sort of thing. Um, so to go from 53 to 179 to 1200 took two years. Um, and at the end of the day, those matches allowed me to identify the assailant uh, for the state police. So that is a bit of background on uh, the specifics on how this team did it. Um, and on a personal note, I really would like to say that um, the investigation that went into all of this work was probably the hardest uh, genealogy task that I've ever faced in over 10 years, as long as I've been doing genealogy. Uh, I would dare to say that this was probably the hardest thing that I've ever done in my entire life. And it means so much to me that I was able to be on the team that could provide answers for the Chevrolet family um, and to, of course, help out the state police to close this uh, investigation. Um, with that being said, there are so many people that I want to thank. I'm sure I'm going to miss some people. Um, words can express my appreciation for Corporal Mark Barron, who was absolutely indispensable in his role as lead investigator on the case. Um, I especially want to thank uh, Trooper Q, Trooper Q Rose, uh, Sergeant Stefanik, uh, Trooper Petrosky for uh, not thinking my email was crazy and actually <coughs> taking me up on it. Um, and especially retired Corporal and former uh, DA's office detective, Sean Williams, uh, for everything they did to assist in solving this case. And like I said, there's so many people who worked on this, so that's just a snippet. Um, but this was really something that is going to stick with me for a very long time, and everyone's work in this was absolutely uh, invaluable to finding James Paul Ford. Um, their dedication, their advocacy, their support and contributions were really invaluable to this investigation, uh, and like I said, they all played really vital ro ro roles. Um, I was 18 years old when I started working on this case, uh, now I'm almost 21, so this is something that um, I've been working on this for a very long time, to say the least. Um, so it's certainly something that I know is going to stick with me um, because I spent so much time on it. I've been working on it practically uh, my entire undergraduate career so far in college. 
Um, so the people on this team mean a lot to me. They put so much into it. Um, we worked as a team, and we, in the end, found the answers uh, that everyone was looking for. Um, and like I said, today I especially uh, want to say that my thoughts are with the Chivarellas, uh, especially Maurice's great siblings, who I've gotten to know very well over the past two years. Um, they've waited so long to have this answer. I, of course, can't put myself in their shoes, um, but I know how hard this is. Um, and I really want to say that I appreciate all their kind words and support. Um, and it's been great getting to know them. Um, their words always mean a lot. Um, and it was really important to me that they know how hard this team was working over these past two years to find Dean's Paul Ford. Um, it really is a big honor to have assisted. Um, and yes, thank you so much. Thank you.